Hi St Luke's, good to see you again. I hope you're finding these uh, little daily devotions helpful in your spiritual life as we wait until we can see each other face to face in the flesh uh, once again. Well, uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 7, John concludes his little opening, his doxology. Behold, he is coming with the clouds and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Even so, amen. Uh, well, John continues speaking about the Lord Jesus, and he quotes from Daniel chapter 7 here, verse 13. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. Now, uh, that's an allusion to the vision that Daniel has of one like a son of man who rules over uh, all the nations of the earth. Uh, he is God's special servant. And John is saying that Jesus is that Daniel son of man figure the one coming or going on the clouds. And we already know that because in chapter 1, verse 5, he calls Jesus the ruler of the kings on earth. And uh, this Jesus is this special son of man figure. And every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all tribes of the earth will wail on account of him. Uh, John here quotes from Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. And the context of Zechariah chapter 12 is that God is pouring out his spirit on his people Israel, giving them a, a spirit of grace and a, a spirit of mercy so that they might turn back to him in repentance and faith for their rejection of his uh, spirit-filled servant. And so by bringing uh, that verse in here, what, what John is saying is that actually it's not just Israel who will turn back to the Lord in mourning and wailing in repentance for the one they have pierced, uh, but actually it will be uh, all the tribes of the earth who are wailing, uh, even those who pierced him, but not just those who have pierced him, but actually all the earth. And it seems like what John is saying is that actually God is going to pour out his spirit on all the tribes of the earth, a spirit of grace and mercy, so that from all the nations of the earth, many turn back in mourning, they repent uh, because of what their sin did to God's chosen servant. And that just makes perfect sense from what we know of the New Testament, uh, that uh, for 2,000 years, God has been pouring out his spirit on sinful men and women, uh, turning them back to him and fixing their eyes on the Lord Jesus and giving them sorrow for their sin and repentance for their sin uh, so that they might bring glory and honor to him. Uh, great to be with you again. And don't forget, you do have something to share with your friends and neighbours today. And it is not the coronavirus. It is the good news that Jesus is the loving Savior, King and Saviour of all peoples. And so share that news today as best you can for their eternal joy and the glory of God the Father.